happy Resurrection Day. I just want to wish you and your family a blessed Easter weekend and I hope uh, you are reflecting on the goodness of God and uh, hope you're having a relaxing time. This morning I want to title my message, Happy Resurrection Day. The word resurrection simply means the act of rising from the dead. So today we traditionally remember that Jesus rose from the dead and it is uh, the essence of Christianity. All of Christianity uh, hinges on the fact that Jesus rose from the dead. Paul said that um, if Jesus hadn't risen from the dead, your faith and my faith is futile and all our preaching is in vain. Thank God for resurrection. Thank God that Jesus rose from the dead. Today is the day Jesus rose from the dead. He triumphed over the grave. He saved us from our sins and gave meaning to our world, meaning to our lives. You know, without the rising of from the grave, all the rest of the Bible would be meaningless. Jesus triumphed over death and gave us life. We read an excerpt from the resurrection story today. Matthew 28, 5 to 7 in the New Living Translation says, The angel spoke to the woman. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen. Just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead and he's going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you what powerful words confirming the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He is not here. He is risen. We are blessed to hear those words over and over again. There will be many sermons preached today of that very verse. He is not here. He has risen. Thank God that Jesus has conquered death. Thank God Jesus has conquered the grave. Thank God because he has conquered death and because he has conquered grave, you too and I can have that same privilege. We don't let death have victory over us or the grave has sting over us. From the verse that I read, we learn a few things about the resurrection facts. Number one, there is nothing to be afraid of. After Jesus' death, the disciples were scared. Some of them got dispersed. They disbanded uh, and they went undercover, so to speak, because they thought that if their Lord was taken, they would be the next to be taken as well. But we find that the angel of the Lord comes very reassuringly and says, don't be afraid. The resurrection morning is something we rejoice over, friend. The antidote for uh, fear is the resurrection uh, where we, we are uh, encourage not to be afraid. Paul Chappell said, because of the empty tomb, we have peace. Because of his resurrection, we can have peace during even the most troubling of times, because we know that he is in control of all that happens in the world. Yes, at this moment, as we speak, so much is happening all over the world. So much negative, so much bad news, so much of war, so much of trouble. But you know what? When you know that the fact that Jesus rose from the dead, when you know that he conquered death and the grave is in control of the affairs of the, of the world, we as believers and followers of Jesus Christ, we are not afraid. And I want to encourage you here today. Resurrection power means you are not afraid. No matter what happens all around you, your heart is filled with peace because that's what the resurrection means. Point number two, Jesus is not lying in the grave, but he's risen and he's not going to die again. We read from Romans 6, 8 to 11. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead, he cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God in the same way. Count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. What Paul was saying there, that because Jesus died and rose again, yes, we too will die, but we will rise again. And he says, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive in God 
in Christ Jesus. You know, sin does not have mastery over us. Gambling, alcohol, drugs doesn't have mastery over a believer of Christ because we are dead to sin and alive to God because of his resurrection power, because Jesus rose from the dead and lives again and lives in our, in our hearts by his Holy Spirit. We have a new force that controls us, not forces given to vices and bad doings, but the force of the Holy Spirit living in us. Point number three, the resurrection message is a message of hope to be told to the whole world. We all over the world, people tell about the goodness of God because it is a power of God's salvation. The Bible says it is through us telling others. People think we are imposing and telling our stories to the world. But if we don't tell the good news, the world will be only filled with bad news. We will only be hearing the bad news. But the good news is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's a message of hope and it's something that we need to tell the whole world. N.T. Wright said, the resurrection completes the inauguration of God's kingdom. It's the decisive event demonstrating that God's kingdom really, is, really has been launched on earth as it is in heaven. The message of Easter is that God's new world has been unveiled in Jesus Christ and that you are now invited to belong to it. Yes, that's why we tell the story. We invite you to belong to God's kingdom. God's kingdom is eternal. God's kingdom is alive. God's kingdom is fresh. God's kingdom is good news. We invite you to know the story of the resurrection. We invite you to understand the story of the resurrection and to be a part of it. Basil Hume said, the great gift of Easter is hope. Christian hope, which makes us to have the confidence in God, in his ultimate triumph and in his goodness and love, which nothing can shake. The fourth point I want to talk about, the resurrection message is that Jesus has gone before us, but we get to experience him in our daily lives through the Holy Spirit. Thank God when Jesus went upon uh, away from the earth, he sent his Holy Spirit to be present with us. He said, my spirit will be with you and in you. He will never leave us nor forsake us. You hear me saying this all the time when you invite Jesus uh, 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 into your heart. He comes and lives in your heart by his Holy Spirit and his Holy Spirit is there to encourage you, to help you, to lead you, to teach you, to make you happy, give you the joy, the peace and the love. And that's why many that follow Christ uh, uh, really and truly experience deep peace in the midst of turmoil. Yes, uh, Billy Graham said, before the resurrection of Christ, the Holy Spirit came upon individuals only on certain occasions for special tasks. But now, after the resurrection, Christ through the Holy Spirit dwells in the heart of every believer to give us supernatural power in living our daily lives. What a joy, my friend. Christ comes and lives in your heart by his Holy Spirit. Yes, is physically gone from the world 2,000 years ago, but he is present and ever present today by his Holy Spirit living in your heart. And as I conclude, friend, John 11, 25, 26 says, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even after dying. Everyone who lives in me and believes in me will never, ever die. Wow. When you live in and believe in Jesus Christ, you will never, ever die. That's not my words. It's Jesus' words. You will never, ever die. Yes, we will pass from this life to the next life. That's why we call it pass away or passing on rather than saying dying. Because in Christ, you live forever. As I conclude, let me read a poem. Uh, he is risen by poet Elwood Ain Stokes. I'll just read the first and the fourth verse. He is risen, Christ the Holy. He is the Christ who once was slain. He is the head born, lone and lonely. Burst the tomb and lives again. Grace divine to men abounded. Grave, sin, hell are all confounded. Risen, risen, joy forever. Christ is victor, death in chains. Grave shall gain do dominion never. Jesus lives, Messiah reigns. Thrill the earth with the glad story. We shall reign with him in glory. What powerful words. Friends, here is my challenge to you. 
Do you believe that Jesus rose from the dead? Have you received the resurrection life? Do you have the confidence that you're never going to die, but live forever? If you can answer yes to all those questions, that's good. However, if you are not sure or perhaps answered no, there is hope, friend. There is hope. Jesus came that you might experience eternal life. Jesus came that you might never die, but live forever. That's what the resurrection is this morning. Because he lives, we too can live. I want to encourage you here today. Why don't you ask him to come and dwell in your heart by his Holy Spirit? I assure you, my friend, when you do, all uh, it takes is invite him and say, Lord Jesus, come and live in my heart by your Holy Spirit. And you too can experience goodness, grace, peace, love, joy, and so much more. Why don't you ask him to come and dwell and live in your heart by his Holy Spirit? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the resurrection morning. We thank you, Lord, that you were not just uh, crucified and confined to the grave, but Lord, miraculously, through the plan of God, as we heard, that you rose again from the dead and you gave us hope, gave us life through the resurrection and you gave us, Lord, peace, love and joy while we exist on this earth. And when our time comes and our call is made, Lord, where we shall ascend with you in glory and we shall experience your love. And I pray today that for anyone who has indicated that they would love to receive you as their Lord and Savior, Father God, as they open their hearts to you, may you come and dwell in their hearts by your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the resurrection morning. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your love. We thank you that the power of resurrection not only is confined to you, but to all who believe in you, because you said through your word, he that believes in you and, and, and calls upon you will live and never die. We thank you for the resurrection power for all of us. Bless the years today and bless us as we continue to thank you for this resurrection morning. And truly we can say it is a happy resurrection day. Father, we pray for those that are sick and unwell, that you would, by your power, heal them and strengthen them. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord smile upon you and give you peace. Have a good week. We'll catch up next time. <music>